Uh, we're here on the Drop Dead Diva set in between some uh, some scenes that you've been shooting, mm-hmm. and we're with Josh Stamberg, who plays Jay Parker on the uh, on the show Drop Dead Diva that's on Lifetime. Tell us a little bit about your character, Josh. Uh, my character is the boss, and he's the bottom line, occasionally hot-headed, lays down the law, playboy, I think it's fair to say. Uh, makes a lot of money, makes a lot of rules, causes a lot of trouble for his employees, but I think in the end is a very lovable fellow. Well, I'm sure that a lot of viewers would agree, but uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, getting into the role. I mean, he's a lawyer after mm-hmm. all. You're, you're not a lawyer, but uh, you're playing lawyer. one. No. And has, uh, was that ever a passion of yours, maybe to be a lawyer? And, and how did you get into that role? Interestingly enough, I just do it strictly through my clothing. Just kidding. So it's all uh, wardrobe. It's all wardrobe. Here's what happened. My grandfather was a lawyer. My father was a lawyer. I am an actor. Uh, and I guess what happened was I just realized I'd rather pretend than actually go through the arduousness of trying to figure out all of those rules. There's so much to know. Well, as a lawyer myself, I can tell you that we do a lot of pretending. Most of it is <laughs> acting, and uh, I'm sure that we'd benefit from uh, studying your performance. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, Tell us a little bit about where the character's going this season. Mm-hmm. Um, what can we expect out of Jay Parker? Uh, in a word, fireworks. I think it's fair to say. Jay Parker uh, comes out at the end of the first season that he's uh, involved with a number of the ladies that are at the firm and elsewhere. And it, it, and this season what happens is that uh, Kim Caswell and Jay Parker start a little uh, uh, exciting work relationship over a very specific case that, you know, maybe not necessarily physical fireworks, but certainly emotional. I think it's fair to say spiritual Fireworks. Spiritual fireworks? Spiritual. Yeah, okay. Spiritual. All right. Yeah. All right. Are you a spiritual guy? Uh, uh, Jay Parker certainly is, uh, in sort of the spirit of money making. Sure so yes, I think it's true. Well, um, you have a very famous mother, and oh. it must have been really hard. Susan Stamberg, mm-hmm. uh, one of the, uh, I guess, the trailblazers, uh, broke the glass ceiling on radio and that. Can you tell us about growing up? in that with with that celebrity i guess there and then i know there's something very special that's about to happen and you yeah. can tell us a little bit about that yeah it was uh i mean i would know you know it's a very particular type of celebrity she's sort of more like a cultural icon so a celebrity among public radio listeners. part of the intelli- in- intelligentsia if exactly. you will exactly yeah. intelligentsia so it, what was amazing was we could be sort of traveling anywhere in the world and people would turn around and say are you susan stanberg because they had that sort of very intimate relationship uh just by ear you know that sort of radio relationship it's so different from anything be else. in the elevator and somebody hear a voice we and- were literally uh on the tiny island in france mont saint michel in a castle which is a place where the water rushes in at tide and out and looking out watching the tide and someone someone heard her talking to me and turned around and said oh are you susan stanford i mean in the middle of Nowhere. So anyway, she's the first woman to anchor a national news program. And she uh, is sort of a founding mother at National Public Radio and hosted All Things Considered for about 14 years, then helped create Weekend Edition and is now a special correspondent, which basically means she has the best job in the world. Anything that interests her in the world, she goes and does a story on it. And her interests run deep and far. So you know, at two weekends, she's getting her, I believe it's her sixth honorary degree from the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. There are six recipients, one from each school. Hers is from the School of Journalism. One of the other recipients happens to be Barack Obama, uh, as well as Ornette Coleman. So we're going to have dinner with the Obamas and the other recipients the night before, which is a little more exciting than playing Jay Parker. Yeah, I guess so. And it must be exciting. And I can tell by the twinkle in your eye how much it, your mother means to you. Oh, yeah. And what's amazing is this guy is, uh, he was talking to me before we, we started, and you can tell he never gets tired talking about his mother. That's and true. Well, thank you so much, Jay. Thank and you. Jay? Jay? Yeah, Jay or, uh, Jeff, or Josh? Yes, yeah. he's still in character. Thanks so much, Josh. Yeah. All right. I'm Josh Stamberg from Lifetime's Drop Dead Diva, and you're watching... The Film Fix.